In this quick demo, I'm going to show you how to do a nifty little pop-out effect in your Camtasia projects like this. Let's get started. Here in the clip bin, I have a Camtasia recording file. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the timeline. And first thing I might do, I almost always record full screen, so I'm going to add just a little bit of a zoom to get rid of my task tray clutter there. And then at that point, I want to right click, copy this, and I'm going to create a duplicate copy on top. On this top clip, I'll click on it, and then I'm going to do a crop. So I can either click the crop tool, or my favorite shortcut is to hold the Alt key, crop into the area that I want to pop out. So I get nice and close. I want to cut out everything except the little bit of footage here that I want to pop out. So when I let go of the Alt key, it crops it. If you use the tool up here, you'll have to uncheck your crop tool. But now what you notice is I have two copies of this video and you can't really tell the difference because they're on top of each other but the top clip here is certainly smaller than the regular original clip. What I want to have happen is I want to move my playhead to just before the point where I want to zoom in for detail. So where I start to show how to use that control right about here I'm gonna press the Z key to drop a keyframe. I'll show you why in just a minute. Then I'm going to move the playhead to the point where I want the pop-out to jump back into place, right about here, and I'm also going to press the Z key. So if we think about what happened there, all I did was I marked two points on my second video clip here, and all I have to do now is put the playhead anywhere in between the two and go to the visual properties and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale this guy up make it kind of nice and big and then position it where it makes sense right so let's see what the effect of that was so it's going it's time to pop out it pops and you'll notice that as I move the slider I can still see the general context of what needs to be shown outside of the zoomed area which I wanted the detail on and then when I'm finished it's going to snap back to the original position so I simply dropped keyframes instead of doing an actual zoom because the secret sauce is it makes it really easy for it to jump back to the original position by just changing what happened in between these two keyframes instead of adding an animation to zoom and then a manual animation to zoom back. Notice how easy that was. I didn't have to mess around too much with that. So a couple of other things we can do here is we can add some other effects to this little pop out. For example, I might want to add a drop shadow or even put a border around it. But here's the trick to doing such a thing. I'm going to go ahead and lock my lower video, the full video. I'm going to double click on my first keyframe and I'm going to split the clip. And then I'm going to do the same over here for the end of the clip and split it. So at this point, if I click here, we'll put the playhead in so we can preview it. I can go ahead and in visual properties also add a drop shadow. Okay, maybe play with the parameters or whatever to pop it out a little bit. Or I could maybe do something like add a border and we'll make it like a nice bright color maybe make it kind of thick see what that looks like okay but I had to split the clip here in order to make the drop shadow and border only affect this portion of my pop out okay so just a little trick there now let's roll that and see what it looks like so we're gonna go in and we're going to pop out 
It's going to do the demo. It's going to show the other area of the screen. And then when I'm finished, it will pop it back perfectly into place. Right? So hope that's a kind of interesting little tip and trick for you. And we'll talk to you next time.